welcome back to After Attacks from Videos, and today, before I show you what I'm going to review today, I mean, you know what I'm going to review today because you clicked on this video, but just before, I'd like to show you what all I got today because I'm going to have one big day full of unboxing. Are you ready, guys? Because I don't think you are. Uh, yeah, 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 you could, you could just say I have uh, a long day of unboxings to do. Of course, I'm not going to unbox everything. Okay, you know, I am probably going to unbox everything. But, probably not that dialogue, though. Because I think, I think I've done it on this channel before. I don't know. I've had at least two of them before, so. Uh, so yeah. Let's go ahead and get into today's. Well, not today's. I mean, I'm going to unbox everything today. I'll probably upload a video, three videos a day. So, this is... All gonna be uploaded throughout the week, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing. Wow, we're unboxing the Jurassic World Heroes of Gujitsu Pyro Raptor today, and uh, it won't all fit in the screen. Okay, it's just a really big box, so we're gonna go ahead and look at the box. Uh, so as you can see here, it's very squishy. Uh, unfortunately, I did not bring in my previous Heroes of Gijutsu Raptors, but I will soon. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, because they're probably in the other room, and I don't want to go and get them. <laughs> Here on the back, you can see the Power Raptor, and you can see all the other three that you can get. I really want the Jiganotosaurus, but I'm not really sure if I'm going to get uh, blue and T-Rex, because, I don't know, they're, they're just kind of regular, but the Pyroraptor was one I had to get, uh, so, let's go ahead, take a look at it, it it's in a smaller box, and, here, maybe if I do this, I can show you a, a bit better, so yeah, pretty cool box, now, I just want it out now, because I've been waiting, ah, it's really in there, I should go get the scissors, Okay, as usual, these thing, these boxes are extremely hard to get open. So, you normally have to cut them because they make it extra hard. Okay, and then, to completely destroy the box, you get your toy out. Okay, that that's to completely destroy that in the trash pile, not the box pile. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's like really squishy. Like the previous are there's like feathers in there. That's cool. I mean, it's kind of weird that it's got feathers in, stuck in its skin, but it's actually kind of cool. It's got feathers in there. And then it's got an opening mouth. Wow. I think that's really a nice thing that they added is the chomping feature. Um so like you can see those feathers in there. It's like like one of those homemade slime balls you see people making, I don't know, like squishy things. And they always put like slime and uh, like different things in there. Oh, it's head turns too. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that because uh, before the Velociraptor Squad, or should I say partial Jurassic World, uh, Jurassic World, why did I say Jurassic World twice? Raptor Squad. Uh, because they didn't have Delta, which I am extremely mad about, because Delta's my favorite. You can see I have her right there. Um, but yeah, I, I wasn't very happy that they didn't ever get Delta, and, uh, yeah. Is its hand actually accurate, too? Oh my gosh, it kind of is, but kind of not. It's kind of cool, though. Um, I'm, it kind of looks like a dragon, like its face. I don't know, maybe not. But I, I do really enjoy these figures. This is my favorite so far. I, I like the ones with goo in them. I'm not a huge fan of, like, the Jiganotosaurus. And is, do all of them have the same filling except for this one? Because I think that was what it was. They all have, like, little beads in there. Um, but, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation. I mean, I already really kind of showed you. But, like, it's, it can turn its head all the way around. And you can open its mouth. Um, it's very stretchy. It's like its whole, its whole thing is it's super stretchy. I love the squishing the feet, and I'm not sure why, but I just do. 
Being it could get all these feathers to go like all throughout its body. See, when I saw it in the box, I thought that was just like different colored goo in there, but it's actually these little rubbery feathers. So it would be cool to cut one of these open and like see all those feathers in there. Uh, the colors are, it, it, to me it looks like a parrot, <laughs> um, but I like the colors. Uh, it doesn't really look like the movie Pyraptor, um, but like it's got the, it's mostly red, but it's got like a little bit of uh, this blue on its, around its eye, and then on here you've got like a bright yellow, and then you have this orange here, uh, and you've got the tip of the feathers on the wing, you have blue, and the tip of the feathers on the tail is blue. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. Like, why would you, why would you put that there? I mean, I guess you kind of have to because it's no, nowhere else could go. But seriously, why? I don't, I don't, just don't really like that. But yeah, I, I really like this. This is, and it's squishier than the others. Um, so like the others, if you let them sit, they'll get really hard. But this one. I wonder what would happen if I put this one in the freezer. <laughs> so, I was on a vacation once and, well, <laughs> once. I, I went on a vacation last year and I brought one of my Heroes of Gujitsu Raptor. I think it was Charlie. And I thought it, it was really hot. So, I wanted to do an experiment and put him in the, put her in the freezer. And she turned out as hot as a rock. I wish I had a a video of that because that would have been a cool video but I, I might do that with this one um because i'm interested to see what it does freezing so basically the charlie just turned as hard as a rock and you know like if it gets hot it gets super melty and when it gets cold it gets super hard uh, i kind of like it hard like you can just like squish it but like not as hard as a rock just like squish Squish, squish, squish. And it's so stretchy. This one's way stretchier than the other ones. Definitely my favorite. You can really see that feather in there. Okay. So, I think that's it. Just a kind of a quick review on this. Uh, I really like this opening mouth feature. Paint is really nice in there. But anyways, thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, give the video a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button down below. I've got a long day, so let's end this right now. Bye.